Hi, welcome to this Glassfish meets Django screencast. This is using Glassfish v3, a modular application server, to demonstrate the deployment of unmodified applications using the Django framework. This is based on Vivex blog, which you can find on java.net. The first thing you need to do is actually grab Glassfish v3. So you do need v3, and you probably want to use either the preview edition or a most recent uh, build of Glassfish v3, maybe a promoted build, which you have a link from the main download page. Once you have that, you simply unzip Glassfish, uh, the archive. And once that's done, you go to the Glassfish v3 directory and start the update tool, which uh, you need to add this extra feature to be able to deploy uh, Django applications. So listing all the add-ons that are available, you can see two things that are of interest to you. The first one is the Jython runtime, and the second one is the Jython container. And the Jython container is actually less than 100k itself. The, uh, uh, the runtime for uh, Jython is a bit larger than that. So simply checking those two boxes and installing will add two um, additional modules to Glassfish v3. And when you shut down the update tool, you can use another tool, uh, which is called PKG, which is the command line equivalent uh, to list and to grab for Jython and to make sure that we have those two, both you know the runtime and the container installed. And the runtime actually is being installed inside the Glassfish directory in the subdirectory. And that's a typical Jython installation. You could be using your own. You then need to uh, define uh, this environment variable, Jython home, and update your path variable. Not, nothing very fancy here. Uh, once, once this is done, you can type Jython and see that you do have a 2.5 version, which is the minimum version needed for Django. So speaking of Django, you need to install the framework. So downloading uh, the 1.1 version and um, decompressing the archive. Once this is done, uh, you actually need to install the framework. And you do this by using not Python, but Jython setup.py uh, install. And this will actually install this based on the Python, on the Jython install, which we just did. Uh, moments ago. Once this is done, we can create uh, the Hello World default um, application, which we'll use uh, here as my site. And you see what's compiled here uh, as um, classes based on Jython. Going back to Glassfish v3, we will start the instance, which is called the domain in this case. Um, and once the instance is started, we will need to uh, define a new option to actually tell Glassfish where we have installed uh, Jython. Um, and in that case, um, it's in the subdirectory of Glassfish v3 as shown uh, earlier. Oops, and there's a typo there and Glassfish tells you uh, which is the right command to use. So once this is done, there's no need to restart the uh, app server. Simply, and this is one of the key elements here in this demo, is simply deploy the application by pointing to uh, the directory where the application uh, is uh, available. So there's no extra packaging. And Glassfish will actually realize this is a Django application and redirect uh, anything that goes to localhost 8080 slash my site to that application. So obviously you want to be a bit more ambitious and probably set up a database, uh, which is something that's covered in Vivex blog in details. And uh, please read this if you're interested. So glassfish.org is uh, a V3, a module application server, uh, which lets you deploy applications uh, using the Django framework.